For 3.1 task 4, it tells us that the diagram shows part of a road that is 9 tenths mile long. Consider the expression 9 tenths divided by 2 tenths. So we have this road, and we can't see the whole thing, but it is 9 tenths mile long. And so I'm just going to label our road as 9 tenths, and we have divided by 2 tenths. So it first asks us to write a problem, so we're going to write that real-world story problem that can be modeled with this expression. So we're representing this problem in words, and that uses the information from this diagram here. So it has to represent our road and our trees here. So as we're looking here, we know we have our roads. We have a road that is 9 tenths miles long. 9 tenths miles the total of it and we want to plant from the beginning a tree every two tenths of a mile till we get to the end so we're planting a tree every two tenths of a mile so we want to know how many trees are we going to plant so I'm gonna let you fill out the information part we have nine tenths of a mile for a road. We're planting a tree two tenths of a mile from the beginning. And our question is how many trees can we plant in that space? So if we go on to part B, it wants us to show or describe how we would find this quotient, which is the answer to a division problem. So I like to show my math and I'm going to talk about it a lot too, but I usually like to show it. So I'm going to start and I'm going to draw out this road. I'm just going to start with kind of a big long rectangle and start cutting it up. So here is one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, and I need nine of these. Here is four tenths and five tenths six tenths, seven tenths, not quite there, at eight tenths, nine tenths, and here is ten tenths, but I do not have that piece of the road. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I do not have the tenth piece to make that total mile. So this is what I have. Now I'm trying to cut it into two tenths of a mile. So here we go and I would plant a tree. And then here's another two tenths of a mile and I'll plant another tree. Here's another two tenths of a mile. I'll plant a tree. Here's another two tenths of a mile. I'll plant a tree. And here's two tenths of a mile, but right, we don't have this one. I can't plant a tree. I don't have enough. So I can see that I have one, two, three, four whole groups. So I have four whole groups, and then I have one out of how many pieces are in this group. I put two in every group. So we can get four and a half out of the nine tenths miles. So recall that the dividend, which is our total, the number we're going to be dividing in a division problem, and the divisor is the number we're dividing by. Well, how many groups are we cutting this into? In your problem, what do the dividend and the divisor represent? So the dividend is what we have, our total, nine tenths. So in this story problem, what object or what thing is nine tenths? So that's your first answer here. The dividend, what is nine tenths representing in the problem? And then the divisor, what are we cutting it into groups of? We're cutting into groups of two tenths. So what are we doing every two tenths is the divisor is representing that. So nine tenths is our what? Two tenths, what are we doing? So we know, right, our divisor is nine tenths. What does that mean in the story problem? We know our, sorry, this is our dividend, I'm very sorry. 
dividend is nine tenths. What does that mean in the story problem? Our divisor is two tenths. What does that mean in the story problem? So now last part of this, how does the question, the answer to the question in part A compare to our quotient in part B? So if we come up here, our question was how many trees can we plant? And if we come to part B, our answer was four and a half. So a quotient is not always just the whole number, it has the leftover parts as well. And we have part A and part B, how many trees can we plant? And our answer was four and a half. So I don't know about you, but I don't know anybody that is going to want half of a tree planted. I don't, can you even buy half of a tree, guys? Like, that's not a thing, right? So our answer to this, how many trees can we plant? Even though our answer to the division problem is four and a half, I want you to think about how many actual trees we can plant for part D.